Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today I have a quick little video about Ave's new upcoming stablecoin. Now I like to cover things of note and Ave producing its own stablecoin is definitely of note. Um, there are two great threads here that I found on Twitter, uh, one by Stablecoins W. TF and he kind of outlays it in simple English and then we have uh, ePores who goes in a little more depth about the math and gives you a little more in-depth ideas of what what's how, how this thing works okay now I've got a uh, flow chart for you that I've produced by reading this uh, technical white paper it's kind of a uh, it's kind of reduced and simplified and stuff there's a few questions that I still have in my mind and I will I will mention them when I'm actually uh, doing the video, but uh, let's go over to the flowchart and let's explain what this stablecoin will do and how does it kind of a little bit different from other stablecoins and how it kind of also mimics the stablecoins that are already in the market. Okay, so here we are on the flowchart and here is Dollar Bill. He's taking a look at this Go token. It's spelled G H O, like ghost, and they're calling it Go. So their US dollar stablecoin is going to be called Go. Okay, so he's looking at this and he's decided he wants to kind of participate and use this for, for whatever reason he decides. So the first thing I would like to mention is that there's a lot of uh, staked ETH utility here. So let's first talk about this. Okay, so if you have, not staked ETH, sorry, staked Aave. So if you have some Aave tokens, you can stake them on Aave, right? I, I, I'm, it's a go, but you can stake them on Aave and get back staked Aave. Now, what does staked Aave do is, one, it gives you an APR, right, in emissions, right? and as well as provide a safety for the Aave protocol. So if the Aave protocol were to go into some bad debt, then these safety, these, these tokens here are used to, to recuperate that, that those losses and stuff like that. So you get paid an APR, but you're not an APR risk-free. You're getting paid APR because you are providing a safety insurance net for the Aave protocol. So what, in my opinion, that's pretty good because what it does is it, it requires the people who are staking these tokens to kind of pay attention and participate in governance a little bit more and care a little bit more because if they're... If something goes wrong because of the voting and governance, then they have a chance of losing some of their capital. So uh, I, I like this. I like this model, and I think it's uh, been it's it's worked for them, but I haven't seen it around very much. Okay. So let's move on. So staked uh, Ave gives you voting rights and gives you an APR and so forth, but you might lose some of them. So the first thing that staked Ave will be allowed to do with this Go token is they will be allowed to vote for an allowance of Go tokens to a certain bucket. So here we have Ave, the actual protocol, the normal Ave protocol where you supply assets and borrow assets. And the staked Ave will be able to vote on how much of these Go tokens, Go tokens can be minted or can be allowed to be borrowed through the Ave protocol. So along comes Dollar Bill with one of his many assets. Aave is one of the protocols that has a lot of assets. Now they might not all be like unlocked and usable right now, this whole list, but in the past they have allowed all of these tokens to be used as collateral. So you can supply some collateral and you can borrow out of this bucket the uh, the the Go token. Now one of the things it says inside the paper is a standard collateral ratio will be used okay so I'm not exactly sure what this means whether it means the normal of a collateral ratio for these collateral tokens so if you were to borrow versus like LUSD or versus BAT token you would have a different collateral ratio right you would have to supply more for a higher risk asset and be able to borrow less right whereas a like a stable coin would allow you a higher collateral ratio. Now I'm not, like I said, so I'm not sure if it's a standard as in the standard of a collateral ratio or if it's some sort of standard collateral ratio that uh, these, these go tokens are going to require of collateral. Okay. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, on to the next part. So he's borrowed some uh, Go tokens based on some of the assets that he supplied to Aave as collateral. 
So one of the things is you cannot supply Go to Aave. It's not a token that is accepted as supply. So because it's not accepted as supply, they are able to use a fixed interest rate. Okay. <clears throat> now why is this? It's because there's no supply and demand uh, dynamics in here. So normally when you borrow from Aave, it's based on utilization because other people are borrowing and some people are supplying. So if more people supply than borrow, then it's cheaper to borrow, right? But here there's no supply because it's just the, the protocol is just minting tokens for you. So there's they can, in, in essence, they can mint infinite based on, of course, these allowances, right? So they have a fixed rate. Uh, fixed rate interest rate, but these fixed this interest rate can be adjusted based on governance So they can turn it up and turn it down if they want to expand or retract the uh, supply of go in the market So this is something you're going to have to pay attention to if you do borrow go tokens You can't borrow go tokens and say oh I've got a 4% interest rate or whatever it might be and it's going to be that forever It might go up and it might go down. Okay, so this is something although it's called they're calling it a fixed interest rate it can be adjusted by governance through the holders of these staked Aave tokens now the other thing is if dollar bill is a staked Aave token holder he is a governance participant per se then he can have a quantity capped discounted interest rate now this is a term that I've just made up so basically what this means is the more staked Aave he has then the more he can borrow at a discounted rate okay so his interest rate will be discounted in in comparison to people who don't have holding staked uh, Aave but only up to a certain amount based on how much he holds so if he holds 100 then maybe he can borrow $100 at discounted rate and then everything after that will be at the normal rate or if he has a thousand then a thousand something like this okay now again the staked Aave holders will adjust this based on governance so they can turn up the cap turn down the cap they can turn up the interest rate and turn down this discounted interest rate okay so what can you do with this go token if you can't put it into Aave well you can take it to DeFi right and because there's DeFi then there will be an arbitrage opportunity because the protocol will always consider go equal to one US dollar. So if it's cheap here, then you can buy it and repay your debt and take back your assets or borrow something else. And if it's expensive, then like if it's above a dollar, then you can borrow some and sell it for a for a profit, right? So moving on, the last part I want to talk about is these other buckets they call them facilitators the first facilitator is going to be Aave but there will be a lot of other opportunities for other things so some of the stuff that says here is like algo stable coins so think you know like uh, Beanstalk or Frax Finance they, they they might be able to use their system to to the collateral or the, the the value inside their system to to borrow or mint out some of these go tokens so treasury backed so think like a DAO has a big bag of treasury and instead of like you know they could use that treasury somehow like obviously it would be smart contract it wouldn't just be like a social a social agreement it would have some sort of smart contract backing so they could use this treasury back and to uh, to borrow some of these go tokens. And what that will allow is it'll allow more of assets than these assets based on some sort of perimeters, right? Some sort of risk assessment, um, some sort of credit score. Like there's not a whole lot of credit score in DeFi right now, but there are protocols that are playing around with this and trying to, uh, to uh, develop this idea. And if a credit score does come out and it is you know effective then you know they can they can add this as well so delta neutral positions so think robo vault and these are like places or even like some sort of you know less less automate automated delta neutral positions like a alpaca and stuff like this where they <clears throat> you know you have a delta neutral position then you can use that to to your protocol let's say your protocol supplies delta neutral positions then maybe people can use their delta neutral position 
as collateral to borrow some of these US dollars, these GO tokens. And then the last one is RWA. So this is a question for you guys. Uh, I don't know exactly what RWA stands for. So please leave a comment in the description and tell me what does RWA and I'm going to research it after I do this video and see what I can find out and let's see if I beat you. Okay. The last couple things that I want to mention is, as you can see, it is another thing. Uh, it is another thing voted on by these, 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 the, the, the staked DAO, uh, the staked Alve DAO, right? The governance DAO. But what they will change is that each of these different possibilities will have their own independent bucket sizes. So they will have, you know, an allowance of different, different allowances for different protocols and different situations, uh, different interest rates. So I, I, I would assume that would, they would be similar, but maybe these guys might have, might crack out a good deal in the governance proposal that makes it make sense to get a cheaper disc interest rate. And then also a cheaper, like discounted rate for the people who are Aave, staked Aave holders and so forth. And, and maybe even in some sort of alliance where they give the governance holder, the governance stakers of that protocol a discounted rate as well. Okay, so that pretty much covers it. Uh, like I said, it's just a quick little video just explaining what is happening here. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope this has been useful and goodbye.